welcome guys we're not in the shop today we're on our way to get a free golf cart supposedly and uh, GPS is taking us on an interesting uh, adventure it's uh, just a little crooked and narrow and as you can see Oh my god. This is actually straight compared to some of what we've been through, so I when we get to where window. the golf cart is, we'll uh, fire this camera back up and show you what we got. That's a beauty. <laughs> got her home in one piece. Oh, <laughs> now the guy says it run. Got on it and it actually started up. A little move with that tire flat though. You gonna try it? It's gonna be a will it run video, but it runs. I guess it's a will it move. Well, it's a Cushman. It's got a Kohler engine in it. Thought it was going to be a project, but it looks like it's <laughs> not a whole lot to do other than mess around with some little things. Got some interesting cobbles here and there, but basically it's all here and seems it seems to work. <laughs> Even the lights come on and work. The front bumper isn't even bent. What's up with that? <laughs> Got a custom steering wheel too. Got some That's stuff to fix it with. Yep. You even got mud flaps and a hitch. Needs a back tire. Just needs a tube in the back tire. She's ready for action. Oh, you got you got to get a CB installed because you got the whip antenna there. <laughs> well, we took the shag carpet deck off the back so I could take a look, see, and we pulled the. The drain plug out. I'm gonna put some fresh oil in her. She's pretty black looking. I don't know if you can see it down in there or not, but basically it looks pretty good. And this we're wondering why it wasn't reasonably solid shape and it's because it's metal, not plastic. Had a little bit of expert welding done on the exhaust. Looks like she's been adapted for a full size auto battery. It looks like when you put the seat up, it automatically puts the brake on with this lever here. And it's got some grease fittings on it. So for being free, it's pretty nice. Matter of fact, it looks nicer than some that we've actually paid money for. <laughs> Gonna attempt a maiden voyage. It's got new oil in her. It's got air, air and slime in the tires.
She needs some LED headlights. <laughs> Somebody put on the throttle cable, so we're gonna try her again. Here's the spot where the golf cart was. I was gone most of the day and uh, Grant, which is the one that actually uh, found it on Facebook for, for free, I just went and helped him get it. So he got it far enough along that uh, he took it home. So he cleaned the carburetor and we found that they had the, the springs stretched out that were on the governor, the ends and stuff were, I think they unbent them to get them off for whatever reason, I don't know, but straighten them back out. But now the major problem is that the uh, voltage regulator, they had it disconnected and wired up so as soon as you turned the key on, it would run the starter and it just stayed in the, in the run mode all the time, which would charge. But uh, not the way it's supposed to be. They had the, one of the wires taken off the regulator <clears throat> because apparently it was no good. So I had a couple of regulators, but they were shot too. So got to find a regulator for it. And he's going to do some, some more work on it later. So that's going to be it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, the golf cart's back. Been a few days. Had a little bit of trial run on it and decided that uh, the engine that's in there is pretty darn tired. And she's uh, a smoker. So, I guess he's got this uh, V twin Briggs that he's going to try to transplant in there. So, We'll take you along for the ride. Every once in a while we'll show you how things are going. You know, Grant's using the, the lazy Kevin tool rack, so because it works good. <laughs> Gotta get some uh, sheet metal out of the way and probably 
the exhaust. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get that off or if that's going to come out with the engine. I'm not sure. Some wiring and now what? Throttle cable, choke cable, all that stuff. So let's see how she goes. Now we got the muffler off. I got to show it to you. She's still hot. <laughs> How do you like some of that workmanship? I don't know if I can show you or not, but there's that end. <laughs> All right, what's next? Get the some wiring and some cables off. All right. Got her lifted up in the air with a chain fall so we can get at the bolts a little better and drain the gas out. It's going to take a few minutes to get some more of them bolts out, so you guys don't want to watch that, do you?
Alright, the old one's out. Now we gotta figure out what we gotta do to get the new one in. Probably we have to rig up some chains and kind of lower it in there and let it hang and try to figure it out. I can take you around and show you what's in there. That's pretty much what we got to work with. It, uh, it's got a solid, some solid framework right over here. And then this was sort of on a swivel, pivot, whatever you want to call it. Kind of strange. Is that lower. some kind of a belt, belt tightener thing or something? Or? I don't know. Kind of strange. So we got some figuring to do. Research says that that clutch is screwed on and you can't get a fat wrench in there so we're making our own. Gonna give it a try. Our wrench made. Now we couldn't hold the flywheel so I made a piece to hold the flywheel in place we think so we're gonna give it a try. What a way to build something. You said they're out of business, ain't no wonder. Well, after some torch time, I think it's finally moving. Yep. Good old YouTube told us how to get it off, but it's so one whack with a hammer and she'll spin right off. Well, this one does. <laughs> minutes to take the engine out of the machine and what two hours two hours to get the damn clutch <laughs> to get off. the clutch off the engine yeah well so it's got a tapered shaft with a thread so that's not going to be compatible with our other engine this is what we had to do to finally hold that flywheel I took that piece of eighth inch plate and drilled some holes in it and of course it bent so then we had to clamp it down to the table so we did that and then the engine wanted to move so I clamped some stuff in the way to keep it from sliding so it turned into quite a mess all right we got a, a new clutch for it and we got the engine hanging on the chain fall getting ready to see how she's all going to fit together
Now we got one of the fixtures for whatever it was in before. Got to get out of electric, the way. Electric clutch. Oh, electric clutch. Okay. Okay, this one has a hose on it for the oil drain, which is not going to be happy on this. So, maybe can transfer it to this side, because it's out in the clear over here. On this side. Well, it's coming back out of there. The starter and the oil filter seems to be an issue. There just isn't enough clearance, and if you raise it up so there's clearance and the engine sticks up too high, you can't put the seat down. So we're back to square one again, seeing if we can find a, an engine that'll fit. Went up in the stash and found another Kohler, the same model as the one on the golf cart. It's got a few differences. I think this one was in a Cub Cadet, probably, because it had that clutch on this end, but it has the right crank for the new clutch, which is right there. So we got the head off it. It's got some pretty serious buildup in it. But we run the we run the piston up to the top. Seems nice and nice and yeah, it gets you in frame here. Nice and tight. And the valves seem to be there's not a, you know the valve guides seem to be all right both of them but there wasn't uh, we run a compression test just running it with a drill and it was pretty low so we're gonna pull it apart to get the crank out and we're gonna pull the other one apart and we're gonna pick all the best parts make one good one. So that's the plan so far. So we got the head popped off the original. And you can see the rings down in there. And rock that back and forth, but it's strange that it would be that clean and not oily. Unless somebody just redid it or something and just put standard sizes back in it and that was war. <laughs> Don't know. Let's pull her down some more and find out. This assembly is coming along nicely. The don donor crankshaft is working on getting that out. There's the piston that was in the donor engine. I think that's why it didn't have much compression. The rings are glued right in it. <laughs> So we're going to attempt to get that flywheel off now. Okay, we got the crank out of the donor engine, drilling the hole in it so we can tap it for the uh, end bolt for the clutch. Got the block and parts cleaned up and selected the best parts so far. We uh, ground the valves and reseated the block and honed the cylinder and set the valves. So I guess next is going to be the piston on the crank and valve cover and pretty soon it'll be run. Lining up. Want me to pump it? Yeah. Crankshaft keeps turning. Tell me when. Okay. Coming. Yep. Okay, got working away at it and forgot to turn the camera on. We got it all back together and it's all in, but we haven't tried starting it or anything yet. 
and the clutch we just got slid on there so we're making progress so but that's gonna be it for today we got her all in got her all wired up we still got a bad voltage regulator so we're just kind of bypassing bypassing that so getting ready to try her out here making a minor adjustment with a fuel line or something It's got the manual fuel pump, so we pumped pumped up the fuel to the carb. Okay. Dryer. Ah, it's coming to life. Let me turn up the other one. It's in. My arms aren't long enough to get the camera back any further. <laughs> see what happens trying to start it the, the belt's a little bit too tight we gotta get a different belt so what are you gonna do coast get it coasted and then put it in gear yeah. I thought maybe you just push the starter when it was in gear We should have put a fuel filter on it. I think we stirred up some junk in the tank probably because once he started sloshing it around a little bit, it's definitely got a fuel problem. some improvements, cleaned the carburetor, put a fuel filter on it, and we did find a place to adjust the engine, so the belt seems to be okay now. kind of a small muffler on it that other one wasn't working well so it might be too much back pressure
Well, guys, I think we're going to call this a video. We got a lot of little little things to do, but I think she's going to turn out to be a a decent thing with a little more TLC. So if you enjoyed her, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. And we'll see you next time.